Lawmakers on Capitol Hill calling for police reform in the wake of Friday's release of video footage that shows the violent attack on Tyree Nichols. It comes two years after lawmakers failed to strike a deal on reforms. Wake up Charles Bree Jackson now on Capitol Hill with more on the new efforts pushing for change. Ben, many police reform proposals were introduced during the Black Lives Matter protest in 2020, but those bipartisan talks fell apart, largely over the issue of qualified immunity. And now negotiators are being urged to restart talks quickly. This video of five black Memphis police officers beating Tyree Nichols, who later died, has once again put concerns about policing in the national spotlight. It's this culture that says it doesn't matter whether the police officers are black, Hispanic, or white, that it is somehow allowed for you to trample on the constitutional rights of certain citizens. Communities across the country are now seeing protest against police brutality and hearing all too familiar calls for change. Well, I don't know that there's any law that can stop that evil that we saw that is just, I mean, just difficult to watch. Um, what strikes me is just a lack of respect for human life. Um. Following the 2020 murder of George Floyd, who died after police officer kneeled on his neck for more than nine minutes, Congress tried and failed to pass a bill that would include bans on chokeholds and no-knock warrants. This latest incident is renewing talks about police accountability. If we can incentivize certain things, I still think you want to keep this at the state and local level. That does not absolve us. Under the federal constitution, we have standards uh, due process standards and others that we uh, are responsible for. Advocates are demanding legislative action. How many of these tragedies do we have to see on video before we say we have a problem, America? Talks around police reform have stalled in the past, and any legislation now could face an uphill battle in a divided Congress. And the Congressional Black Caucus has requested a meeting with President Biden to discuss addressing police reform. In Washington, I'm Bree Jackson for Wake Up Charlotte.